Hi guys and welcome to a very quick video because something really cool arrived in the post when I go home today and I did not expect this to be here. This is a real big surprise. As you can see it came from a company called Fighting Stick. Got the address down there, trfightingstick.com. Now I really didn't know what this was because I ordered it from, I think they pronounced the Burhaus Brothers or something like that, but it came from this company instead. What is it? Well, I haven't had it out of the box. This is a, a real unboxing for me as well. It's the dream case. And now if you're wondering what the dream case is, it's a full aluminium shell for the Dreamcast and it makes accessing things like the, uh, the what's it called, the, the GDEMU very easily and it also is meant to come with um, a new uh, cooler power supply, a little mini power supply as well. Okay, so let's get this out of the box. Alright, came out really nice. Okay, can you see that? I hope it's in focus. Let's, let's put it this way. Okay. Hopefully that's in focus. Okay, we can see down there it says made in Turkey. And you don't see many things made in Turkey from the electronic world. All right, let's get a little bit up there. All right. Okay, so it says Dreamcase is the new generation metal shell for Dreamcast. Easy installation, compatible, compatible with GDEMU and DC HDMI. New technology, 12 volt, uh, DC 12 volt mini power supply, uh, sense positive. Uh, extend the PCB for SD card, very nice. Compatible with a 56K modem and DreamPi. 400, uh, 40 millimeter silent fan, not supporting original GD-ROM or uh, USB GD-ROM. Okay, well that's uh, okay for me because I don't have those, I've got uh, GD-EMU. Okay, compatible with other the Dreamcast accessories, visual memory controller, arcade stick, basic controller, Dreamcast gun, vibration pack, keyboard, and mouse. All right, let's get this thing open. I'm really excited to see what this is like. Okay. The box is a bit flimsy, to be, if I'm to be honest with you. I was expecting a more substantial box. Oh yeah, that smell of new equipment. Okay, here we go. And we've got another little box in there. And another one. Oh, and what's this? Yeah, a little power adapter for um, American and Japanese style plugs. Okay. Ooh, lovely fresh box there. Okay, let's see what we've got. Okay, so we've got, uh, these are sealed here. You can see that with a sealed bit of hologram. Um, I'm going to have to go and get the knife, aren't I? Be back in a minute. Okay, here I am, back with the knife. Let's make sure this is in focus. It's an autofocus, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm thinking that's going to be the fan. Let's get this open. Oh, I've got to do it this way too. Okay, let's see what's in here. Ah, okay, the accessory pack. So we've got things like our standoffs and whatever. Oh, look at that, it comes with uh, some little feet as well. It's pretty cool, the screws in there. Uh, we've got a power switch, things like that. Mountain brackets. All right, it's cool, cool, okay. And let's see what's in here. This one actually says Dreamcase Accessory Pack on it. That one didn't. So uh, I wonder what's in this one. I'm gonna get it on both sides. Okay. Oh, right, here we go. What's that? That's the, uh, the new PS power supply unit by the looks of it. Yes, uh, Tri-Fight Stick DC PSU written on there. And this is, I'm not sure what that is. What's that say on the board? Yeah, it's just numbers. Oh, it's the SD card, isn't it? Okay, this is the, S, the, the SD card extender. All right, okay, that's cool. So 
maybe we can mount the SD card on the outside of the case instead of you know flipping the lid like we normally do with a GD EMU. Okay, and uh, let's take a look at the actual case. All right, it's got some weight to it. Okay, so let's have a look. Oh, look at that. It's a proper metal serial number on the bottom of that. Number 63. Okay, it's one of the earlier ones. Nice. All right. And yeah, I've got a red anodized front, uh, maybe because I live in Japan. So I've got a nice red anodized. That, that's metal, yeah. And uh, it's metal at the back as well. Lovely. All right. You can see why it's not um, compatible with uh, a standard Dreamcast because there's no uh, CD lid. Okay, let's see. Can this be opened up? Ah, okay, we can't open it. It's screwed down. It's screwed down. Okay. Well, I'm not going to open it up now. But taking a look on the back here, we can see, uh, obviously, we're going to have the uh, video out and uh, so on here and the power supply and so on. But that looks like it's going to be the slot for the uh, micro SD card, isn't it? Not micro SD card, the normal SD card. So that's got a slot in there. That's really handy. That's going to save a lot of messing about. And it looks, yeah, it does take a barrel plug. So it looks like you have to supply your own power adapter. That's a bit of a bummer, unless it's actually in the case. There is something in there. It's quite heavy. Maybe that is the power pack. I'll tell you what, should we get a screwdriver and take a look? By the way, this Dreamcast logo on the top is meant to light up. Let me just go and get a screwdriver and we'll open it up and see if we've got the power pack inside. Okay, we're back with the screwdriver. Okay, let's get this open. It's got some weight to it, that's for sure. Um, I'm wondering if it's going to be these little screws here that are holding it down. And not the bigger ones. I've got to say, guys, I'm, uh, I am happy with the quality so far. I mean, it's one solid bit of metal. You could use this as a weapon, whack someone over the head with this, easily knock them out. <laughs> it's got some weight to it. All right, and this one. I mean, it should be easy to put a Dreamcast in here. Anyone who's taken the Dreamcast apart before knows it's very simple. No, the, the front panels came away, but the rest of it hasn't. Looks like you've got to take out to all the screws. So yeah, so putting a Dreamcast in here shouldn't be a problem. And it's got vent holes all down the side and everything. It looks really good. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, it comes away from the top. Oops, there goes the uh, front panel. Okay, let's see. All right, that's, you can see it's got an LED up there. That's where uh, that's going to light up. Just put that down flat. Okay. Okay, let's see what this is. I'm thinking it's the power pack. Good. They actually do give us a power pack with it. All right, that is good. See if we can get this open. All right, yeah, it's got one of those Euro things on it. Ugh. Bloody filthy, look at that. The hell? Yeah, oh, man. Filthy ass power pack. That will give that a wipe down. All right, let's see. Input voltage. Uh, Oh, you're shitting me. Input voltage, 200 volts, 240 volts. Well, that isn't going to bloody work in Japan, is it? The hell? Ain't going to work in the US either. That's only going to work in Europe. Come on, dude. You could have given us a bloody universal power pack. Uh, we have to get onto them about that. Um... Yeah, I mean, shipping these things worldwide, you should give a universal power pack. Even Chinese companies do that. 
Uh, but yeah, it says uh, input 240 volts, 200, 200 volts to 240 volts, 50, 60 hertz, 1 amp. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, that ain't going to be used, that's for sure, even with this thing. Uh, luckily, I do have other power packs, um, which are multi voltage, so maybe I can just use those. Anyway. Besides the power pack being completely useless, um, that is a bit of a downer. The actual case, I'm happy with that. That's nice. Now, actually, I did say that was metal, but it's not. Yeah, just give it a bit of a taste test. That's plastic. And it's got some sort of rubberized coating on it. Yeah, that's plastic, that is. That's plastic. And this back one. Yeah, that's plastic too. Okay, so the back panels, the back and front panel, they're plastic, but the actual casing, that is metal. And I believe it's meant to be aluminium. All right, well, there you go. Actually, where's the fan? It's got a fan hole there. I didn't see any fan in here, did you? Yeah. Nope, there's no bloody fat with it. It's not mixed up in there, is it? Nope. Is it in there? Nope, it's not in there. Right, okay. I wonder if you have to buy the fan separately to put on your motherboard. But hang on just a minute. Ah, uh, no, you don't get a fan. That's me being an idiot. Yeah, it says compatible with uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 40 millimeter silent fan. Yeah. So you should get a fan with it because it's written there. It doesn't say compatible with it. just listed as one of the items. Uh. All right, well, an email is going off to um, Fight Stick to uh, ask about this fan, because look, they've given me the mounts and stuff for it, but uh, there's no actual fan, just feet. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, anyway, there you have it. That is the dream case. Um, I'll probably get this set up at the weekend maybe, but uh, who knows, I'm pretty busy. But until then guys, keep on gaming and enjoy your games. See ya.